many people in? Not enough people in. Because you're not paying attention and you're not focused. No mental mistakes. Two. Know who's coming in. Three. Know who's going out. We are now two weeks into Friday Night Fever, and it's been a mixed bag for Ontario's football warriors. But don't take it from me. Here's a pretty thorough breakdown of their first two games with senior captain Bryce Hill. Going into Lex, we were very hyped, came out strong. Uh, we got down 7 nothing, but that, that didn't take away from what we went into the game knowing. And we ended up coming back in the final four minutes of the game, putting a few drives together and making some plays. And we came away with the win. And then week two with Highland, we got down 18 nothing and uh, came back 18-16. Third quarter, some adversity came against us. We got against uh, Rafts talking to them too much, and that's when we kind of fell apart, and that's why the final was what it was. The final was a 47-16 Week 2 loss for the Warriors, allowing 29 unanswered second-half points. But like Bryce just told you, clutch plays and endurance paved the Warriors' way to victory just one week earlier. So even Coach Miller is still kind of piecing together the puzzle of the team's overall identity. You know, throwing the football it saved us week one. It kind of got us in trouble week two. So we're not really sure at this point what we're good at. We're just gonna we're just kind of keep plugging away at, at, at different things and try to find our identity. Uh, you know, we're moving some guys around and putting some some wrinkles in the offense to kind of hopefully find some seams and and find out what we're good at. One of those wrinkles Miller mentioned comes in a modest sophomore package, who's been posting numbers way bigger than his slight stature. If you want to tell the folks at home like your exact dimensions, give a little layout of, of your, your body here. What, what are we looking at? Um, I'd love to be six foot, but 5'5", five, five, 125 pounds. <laughs> That's it. Basically, Owen Hatfield has a hard time filling up his varsity jersey, but has easily been the Warriors' top playmaker up to this point, earning the nickname Waterbug from us here at the OH Report for his fast twitch, big play ability. Though even his teammates admit there were concerns about a kid wearing a loose-fitting youth tee suiting up on Friday nights. So I'm going to be honest, I was actually pretty worried about him going out on varsity. I was like, man, he's, like you said, like a water bug. I don't know if someone smacks him, he's going to get crushed. But he's too quick. He's been juking guys out and people have been falling. And I'm, I'm, on, the, I'm on the sidelines during offense and I just can't get enough of it. You definitely don't expect anything to happen. You always just go out, perform your best capabilities and make plays. What has it been like for you having the big plays at home in particular and having all the fans screaming your name? What was that like for you the last couple weeks? Feels awesome. There's nothing better in the world. But now Ontario must go on the road for the first time this season when they travel out to Sullivan to face Black River. We're very excited to travel out this far. We, um, we have an old friend that plays at uh, Black River and we're excited to see him and get out here for a little bit and have some fun on the bus. Uh, we're going into this game 1-1. One one. We want to get back above 500, get to 2-1, and one, go into conference play with a winning record. And like Mitch said, uh, one of our old buddies is going to Black River, so we're excited to get him and have some fun. As a competitor, you, you come out, you, you know, it, this, this, this game is no more important to win than, than if we're coming off of a win or a loss. We, we want to win every time we take the football field. So uh, we retooled some things in practice today to try to generate that anxiety level that's created with youngsters on a Friday night football field and I thought they responded pretty well and, and you know Black River is a great football program and so I'm excited to go on the road. We haven't been on the road yet. I want to get on the road and play in somebody else's house. For the OH Report, my name's Brian Skoronsky.